Hello, this is Claude, and uh, today I'm going to do a, another quick video, and it's a video to help uh, the uh, new users uh, that are digging into electronics and are uh, looking into doing their own PCBs at home with uh, ferric chloride as well as uh, doing the uh, ink transfer with the uh, ironing board. So the video is, is uh, um, a quick tutorial or it's more of my, my findings after struggling with the ink transfer with the paper. That's the goal of the video. And uh, I have had uh, difficulty. I went through all kinds of different papers and uh, actually Staples really liked me for a couple of weeks, uh, two or three weeks in a row. I went there and buying different types of paper and all of that. And every time it's uh, $10, $15 a pop. So I want to share my experience and uh, maybe help you save some uh, dollars in the uh, at the same time. So that's the reason of it. All right. As uh, most of you that are subscribed to my channel know, I really love my electronics. I love all my uh, computers, gaming computers, all the ga electronic gadgets, keyboards, mice, and all that good stuff, and my cell phones as well. So obviously the next uh, logical step is to dig a little deeper, take the plunge and go into the electronics itself, which is going to lead you to do these PCB boards and all of that. So I'm here to the videos to help users and not for clickbait. Uh, I could, uh, I don't do the OMG uh, holding my face, uh, best uh, PCB technique uh, ever, uh, or, uh, you know, like best gaming, uh, the, uh, best gaming uh, keyboard 2017, holding my face and all that. Don't do that kind of stuff. All right, um, so that's what it is. All right, so basically the first thing you need to know when you have difficulty, you start, you want to do the ink transfer from your laser printer to a piece of paper. Do that. So after that, you can uh, iron it under uh, on your uh, PCB board on the copper side. What you need to know is that the first thing you're going to do is try to find the best paper. So the first thing you need to do is when you go to the store and you will try to buy photocopy or photo... Uh, photo paper, glossy photo paper, uh, inkjet doesn't work. So the first thing you need to know is that inkjet does not work. Don't buy the paper. I went too fast the first time, brought some uh, glossy photo paper for inkjet. Didn't work. So in the trash can. Uh, you need to get a laser uh, a laser uh, printer paper. You need to use a laser printer. If you don't have a laser printer, forget about it. Move on. Do something else. Get a new hobby. Uh, it's not going to work. You need to have a laser uh, printer. So I tried as well the uh, laser transparencies. That was my second thing there. And uh, the thing is, is that uh, the heat on the ironing board with the laser uh, transparencies is it smudges, and then you cannot have straight lines and all of that. So uh, laser transparencies, they're about uh, forty dollars, uh, thirty dollars to forty dollars for a pack of uh, something like twenty uh, to thirty of them. It's uh, very expensive and it doesn't work. So don't even go there. Don't try that. It doesn't work. Uh, many uh, YouTubers have shown, oh, if you do that in glossy magazine paper, uh, I've had very poor success with that. Work half-assed, but not really good. Uh, the next uh, thing is, uh, and the best paper I recommend, what I've done, I, I went through about the, you know, 20 different types of paper, so I, I know what I'm talking about. The best one is the HP Hewlett Packard presentation paper, 120 grams for laser printers, glossy. So go to Staples, Home, uh, Home Depot, uh, Office Depot, and all that good, they, these stores, and find that Hewlett Packer presentation paper, 120 gram, laser glossy, and it will do the job. So that's the best paper. That's what I recommend. Go straight for this. All right. So the next thing is the ironing board temperature. All right. So the, your iron. Uh, most uh, YouTubers, and this is what threw me off initially. I thought I was never going to make it. Uh, most YouTubers and uh, guys, great people like the great Scott, uh, he's an awesome guy. I love this guy. Subscribe to his channel. Uh, and I learned a lot from this guy. But he always says on one of his videos about that the tutorial, he says the, the ironing uh, board needs to be hotter than hell. That's what he says. Well, that doesn't work. All right. And uh, a couple of other guys, the same thing, the hottest as you can. Doesn't work. To me, the exact temperature that uh, worked is when the iron is at synthetic fabric or silk. And it's usually the second or the third lowest uh, settings on your ironing board. And it gives me 110 to 120 uh, centigrades or Celsius. So basically at about 115 uh, Celsius, that's the best uh, temperature you want to have it. All right. I don't have the 120 in uh, Fahrenheit. I didn't check it. 
but the 115 do the google it do the conversion but the 115 celsius is the sweet spot so you need to be at this uh, range all right so the next thing you're going to do after that is uh, oh i want to say that if your temperature is too high uh all the ink above 130 celsius the ink the laser ink will uh, kind of crystallize and it will stick to your paper it will not go into the copper board all right so uh, stick to that so hp paper conclusion hp laser uh the laser uh, uh, paper hp presentation paper 120 gram that's what you want uh, keep the ironing board at 115 uh, degrees celsius and uh, next thing i'm going to say then you're you're going to be in business when you're going to be ironing uh the uh the diagram on the uh, copper board uh you're going to do that for about eight minutes uh less than that's not enough more than that is uh, useless so eight minutes to me 7 30 to eight minutes is exactly the sweet spot that the where i've had the best results uh like i said i've tried about 30 samples to be able to get to get to the uh, the exact settings that are good uh, also when you're going to be uh, handling at home uh ferric chloride um you know i've used it i just use uh put my uh, copper board in there and then i gently just shake it i've got the double sets of gloves uh, and uh, nitrile gloves and bigger gloves above that for chemicals uh just gently sway this uh, in the plastic bowl with a little bit of ferric chloride just to enough to cover it uh, and I do it about for 20 minutes and I do not scrub a couple of guys on YouTube show it and then with a sponge and scrubbing that I don't do any scrubbing I just do that for about 20 minutes there's no scrubbing and it does the job very well uh, what I've done so far uh, ferric chloride is nasty but what I do I always put it back even with the um, uh, the solution of copper in in the in the liquid I put everything back in the in the same thing and I've done all my boards so far with that and I've done about what 30 of them and uh, it still works just fine and when it's not going to be working anymore I will take it to the uh, uh, local uh, asthmat uh, recycling plant or we have a, a place there in, in the town where I live in the city where I live we can go drop that and they take care of hazardous material be responsible uh, you know be careful with the environment and uh, just you know just be responsible when you do that uh the last thing i'm going to say is that when you, you use that ferric chloride i was handling that like it was the most toxic thing because it dissolves metals so it's potent right but uh i read carefully the msds sheet and it says that it doesn't flash it doesn't catch on fire uh it's uh, obviously there's fumes to it you need to uh, have a good ventilation when you use that but other than that, it's 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 nasty for metal. But uh, other than, otherwise, it's not that bad. Uh, so may I just uh, wipe everything with uh, paper cloth, put it in a plastic bag, and then separate it from my trash, but still keep it in in a, a safe zone. And uh, that's what I do, and put it to the uh, to the uh, hazardous material uh, place uh, near my in, in, at the city dump. That's what I do. All right. So uh, hopefully this video is gonna help those that have been struggling with that, with the noobs, just like me, starting in electronics, uh, taking it a step further. So uh, I hope I'm gonna be helping people. I'm gonna be saving uh, some guys some money, so you don't have to do just like me, spend a couple of hundred bucks to uh, try to find the right paper and all of that. And also the time that you spend with that stupid thing. So hopefully I'm gonna be able to help uh, some of the, some of the uh, the, the noobs out there uh, new to electronics. If you liked the video, if you think it was interesting or it was useful, uh, like the video, please. If you disliked it for any reason, let me know. Um, I'm susceptible to trolls, so if I see some trolling, I just uh, delete the thing. I don't even reply to trolls. I don't give them that pleasure, so I just delete it. But uh, if you dislike and you tell me why you disliked it, uh, it's always uh, positive feedback is always welcome. Uh, also, if you have a chance to do it already, please subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you at the next video. Thank you. Ciao.